Hello, I'm Carl Newburn. You might, might know some of my books, like Kiss Kiss Yuck Yuck, or Hill and Hole, or Duck Stuck, Old Who, The House on the Hill, or even perhaps my Dinosaur Rescue series. Today I'm going to read you one of my favourite stories, Melu. High up on the sunbaked hills, on a rocky island floating in a glittering green sea, lived a herd of stubborn mules. The mules had been clip-clopping around the sunbaked hills for generations. They always clip-clopped in the same direction, west towards the setting sun, and they never ventured down to the glittering green sea. But Malou was different. He was always out of step. When the herd clipped, Melu clopped. When the others clopped, Melu clipped. As he clop clipped around the subject hills, Melu imagined he was galloping across lush green fields. Every night he dreamt he was splashing in the glittering green sea. So one day, Melu turned around. You can't go that way, the other mules brayed. Turn back before it's too late. Melu was very scared, but he didn't turn back. The other mules got angry. If you go that way, you will starve and die, and the sun will melt your eyes. But Melu was as stubborn as any mule, so he kept going. The sun-baked hills were dry and dusty. There wasn't a single blade of fresh grass. The other mules were right. He was going to starve and die. But the sun didn't melt his eyes. In fact, he felt nice having the sun in his face for a change. Malou clop clipped along until he saw a faint trail winding down the sun-baked hills. Far below, he glimpsed a gentle green valley with lush green fields flowing into a glittering green sea. Malou took a deep breath and he started winding his way down. He didn't get far. A rock slide swept down the summit hills, burying the trail under rubble. There was no way around, so Melu sat down and waited. He didn't have to wait long before Goat came clip clattering along. What are you waiting for? asked Goat. I'm waiting for a way past this rubbly rock slide, Melu replied. Then I am going down to the glittering green sea. I've always wanted to go down to the glittering green sea, said Goat. If I guide you over the rubbly rock slide, can I come too? What a fine idea, Melu replied. Sure hoofed Goat clip clattered over the rubbly rock slide. Melu clop clipped close behind. Together, they continued down the trail. They didn't get far. A tree trunk had tumbled across the trail. Goat tried to clip clatter over, but it was much too dangerous. So they sat down and waited. They didn't have to wait long before Bull came stomp stamping along. What are you waiting for? asked Bull. We're waiting for a way over this treacherous trunk, Melly replied. Then we're going down to the glittering green sea. I've always wanted to go to the glittering green sea, said Bull. If I clear this treacherous trunk away, can I come too? What a splendid idea, Melu and Goat replied. Sturdy Bull stomp stamped as he shoved the treacherous trunk clear. Goat clip clattered through. Melu clop clip close behind. Together they continued down the trail. Down, down they wound. They got very far too. But at the edge of the gentle green valley, a wild rushing river blocked their way. Shorthoof Goat tried to click ladder over, but the river swirling made him, his hooves unsure. So he turned back. Sturdy Bull tried to stomp stamp through, but the swishing river made him feel unsturdy. So he turned back too. 
but the river wasn't as stubborn as Maloo. Sure hoofs sturdy and stubborn together can surely cross any river, said Maloo. The river nearly tripped Goat, but Maloo and Bull steadied him. The river tried to top a bull, but Maloo and Goat held him tight. Top tip, tip clatter, bomb stamp, step by stubborn step, across to the other side. They galloped through the lush green grass. They splashed in the glittering green sea. They tumbled and laughed and played all day. And they sat down together to watch the stars poking holes in the sky. While high up in the sun-baked hills, the herd of stubborn mules tip-top past, never once glancing down to the glittering green sea. And that's my story, Melu. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.